place. So EFOMP, as it says in the title, it's a federation of organizations of medical physics. So it's 35 national member organizations come together to make a family and community of medical physicists throughout Europe. The aims are to benefit patients and staff through the application of physics in healthcare. Uh, and how we achieve these aims are by communicating, integrating, and education. We are 41, uh, 41 years old, uh, and uh, we have, as we have been evolving and progressing to be able to deliver these aims with a European family. And we're very pleased to be here in Bilbao, and we've been very well looked after at this exciting meeting, and we can feel the energy and enthusiasm of SEFM. So we're very grateful to you for inviting us here. Just to add uh, in part is uh, saying, uh, as in families, uh, families have kids, and the 35 uh, national member organizations are uh, from kids, the children, and uh, some of them are very powerful, and some of them are very have lower uh, competencies. Um, so uh, the important thing for us also is uh, the societies with more a strong medical physics presence uh, in their country to help uh, the societies. Um, we, we do not have either the resources or the number of physicists or the knowledge. So for us it's important uh, because as a family to help each other. As president, yeah, you are the person who would be involved with a team because EFOMP is a family and a team, so you are can be the spokesperson on behalf of the team. You are charged with defining the vision and, and strategy for, you do one year as, as vice president, three years as president, and then one year as past president. So for those five years, you are setting the strategy, making sure that the committees, which are the pillars of EFOMP, and the national member organizations are harmonized you define a strategy for maybe three years and then you try to deliver that strategy uh, for those years. And you it's very uh, good job because you have great people around you uh, and you get to meet very nice people in all of the national member organizations. And EFOMP helps write the future of medical physics and physics-driven healthcare in Europe. So you are part of the team that are writing that future. Uh, well, the Secretary General uh, position has a lot of duties. <laughs> it's uh, the right, the left hand of the President. And anyway, um, the Secretary General should uh, keep uh, the institutional structure of the Federation, follow the uh, manual of operation of the organization. Uh, some of the duties for involve uh, keeping uh, the contacts uh, with the national uh, societies, medical physics societies, uh, to launch uh, calls uh, for officers and the postal ballots, uh, to convey uh, to the national societies all the work that uh, is being done or should be done, uh, to be distributed then to their members. Um, the Secretary General is also the Secretary of the FOMP Examination Board and the FOMP School for Medical Physics Experts. Uh, he, she has to launch the bids for the Congresses, uh, arrange the venues for the schools. Uh, there are a lot, anyway, there is a lot of work in this position, but uh, I have to mention that all these positions, uh, the, office, the chairs as well, the secretary general, the president, the vice president and the treasurer are described on the FOM website. So there is a lot of information about us uh, on the FOM website, available to everyone to read. <laughs> I think the Chinese have an expression uh, that it's a curse to live in interesting times. But it was interesting times that presented challenges to the entire healthcare system of which we are a part of and the entire political European uh, family. So I think it showed our resilience as a profession. It showed the benefits of reaching out as being part of a federation 
So for instance, the pandemic arrived early to Italy and we were able to learn about how medical physics was carried out in Italy uh, before it came to Ireland or Western Europe. Um, and we were able to respond accordingly. We were able to, uh, in terms of uh, providing webinars, which brought this expertise. So we had seven webinars. Um, we had our Congress online in Torino. So I've had two Congresses. Uh, and that allowed us to think about hybrid delivery, which is important for sustainability. Um, and in terms of Brexit, we still have very strong involvement with uh, the IPM in the UK. Uh, and we hope that we uh, can continue that uh, uh, because they are great contributors to medical physics in Europe. Uh, and I think we all learn and have similar structures from each other. And we have to remember that the IPM uh, helped found EFOM back in 1980. We had to move our offices to uh, Utrecht in the Netherlands so that we could avail of EU grants. And that has been a very successful move because we have uh, already attracted maybe five very key projects of which some of your members, Antonio is involved in some of the Samira projects that will write the future directives. So these are very important to us. So I learned uh, the benefits of being in a large European family. I learned the resilience of medical physics. I learned our importance at time of crisis and how we can benefit our patients, uh, uh, which is what our ultimate role is, and how we can adapt our technology. For instance, we changed the radiotherapy fractionation regimes. Uh, we uh, looked at our QA schedules for diagnostic, and we still continue to treat patients. So I think it showed us our uh, resilience and our, the great strength of the Federation in working together to overcome these struggles. I also want to make a point that EFOM is a volunteers organization um, and I think that benefited uh, us too because we didn't suffer some of the financial shocks that other organizations suffered due to the pandemic uh, and thanks to the good hard work of members and we're all part of EFOM, uh, it, it's why we are resilient and in a very strong warm position today. Uh, well, I have to start by saying that uh, when you receive an award, is you feel always uh, very happy uh, because it shows that your work, all your efforts, all your volunteering time that you spent uh, for for your community, for your family of medical physics, uh, is recognized by the audience, the recipients uh, of your efforts. Uh, however, I would like to stress that always this is a teamwork and uh, I want to specifically mention, I have said it many times in my presentations, that uh, the, the person who, who got, got me involved in this community and gave me the chance to offer to our uh, colleagues uh, was Gaspar Merino Sanchez, who was the chair of the communications committee back in 2016. So all this evolution of our digital profile in a phone, the, the communication, the media, um, all this uh, face that we show to the outer uh, world, all the organization, all the other organizations started from that time. And uh, for me, uh, since I feel really medical physicists are my family, um, this gets back to me and my family as well, because my kids, this serves my kids as a role model for them to, uh, to make something for the community. And not only the community of our physicists, but also for our patients. Uh, when you are a medical physicist, a clinical physicist working in a hospital, I am a clinical medical physicist for 30 years, you offer to the patient, you offer to the society, to the community. So for me, that's it, the medical physics and the, and the work I'm doing. Yeah, we think that the contribution from SEFM is outstanding and we're really pleased with the contribution. We know that there's even more out there that would, are willing to help us. So that's one of the reasons we're here. We're, we find it very strong on our committees, um, helpful whenever you know, examples, in, we had an early career section in the Dublin Congress and, uh, you know, with Spanish, uh, Letitia came over, Erizola came over and helped us, uh, led that out. So you are leaders uh, that contribute very strongly to, e to EFOM.
We are very pleased that the Congress could be awarded to Valencia for 2026 because we know the enthusiasm. We know that you operate as a community and even this meeting, which is not a scientific, it's a, it's a professional meeting uh, where you discuss issues that affect medical physics, shows your passion for developing the profession. Uh, so we would have a very strong view that SEFM is a very strong player in European medical physics. They're very enthusiastic. Any members we deal with from Antonio to uh, yourself, Anna, Damien, everybody we deal with, uh, they are visionary. Uh, they contribute a lot. They have a lot to say. Um, I've just, it's funny, when we arrive here, you think maybe I don't know so many people, but then you end up knowing lots of people that you have met through committees, that you've met at meetings, that you've met at congresses, that people talk about people, you know, so I, we think the SEFM is a very active society and a role model for other societies. Yeah, I would like to add at this that uh, I was uh, in a meeting uh, of your society in Girona. I don't remember the, the year now, uh, but as Patty says, since we have been in many meetings of uh, our national member organizations, what I remember from that meeting was this enthusiastic audience, it was crowded and they were all involved, stayed for the whole days that the meeting was, also the interaction with the companies, but it's very important for, the, for us this very close collaboration with the companies. And uh, then I, I was the internet manager of a phone at that time. And then I realized that a form, a, a span, the SEM is a very powerful society. Uh, as I say, those, these are the strong kids of uh, the Federation and we should involve them more uh, and be more close to the Federation. And uh, we ended up, if you think about it, we, we ended up today having four Spanish secretaries in four FOM committees. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have Antonio, mm -hmm. Leticia, Luis and Irene Hernandez. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, I can tell you that the secretary position is a very important position in a committee because it's a three years term, it can be renewed. So in fact, the secretaries stay longer than the chairs of the committee. Uh, and they're the rocks of the committees. Uh, and I see the Spanish uh, contribution to the Federation mm. and our community is uh, increasing day by day, thanks to all your efforts of also of the Spanish board and all the people that they are really wanted. For one, I want to just say the event itself is very special because you are dealing with professional issues and that's a very brave event because we are scientists and we like to talk science and that's where we're most relaxed. And sometimes the professional, uh, but it's very important that we can carry out our science. Um, I think what we want to say is that, you know, please get get involved in uh, EFOM, uh, become members of our committee, because we, you are EFOM. Uh, all we are is a reflection of the good work and energy that comes from your society. Um, and I, to even have this meeting that deals with professions shows the innovative spirit of SEFM, it really does. Uh, so that's why, and we can feel the energy. You can hear, even in the background here, you can hear the excited noise and conversation. Um, we found it at the Congress in Dublin with a large Spanish uh, representation. Uh, and again, the energy, enthusiasm, and love of medical physics is very strong in the dedication. So you can feel it everywhere. So we're very pleased to be here. And uh, this meeting, as I said, very unique. I have not come across anything like it. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I haven't. Uh, and we, we, we deal with a lot of NMOs, but a specific meeting with many hundreds of people talking about professional issues, there hasn't been, uh, that we're aware of, you know. Family and community, uh, and a bit of music. <laughs> uh, I know there's three words when you could say one, but uh, so, for instance, I think, to be a volunteer in EFOMP, if you need to involve your family and your friends um, so that you can sustain it. And so I'm very lucky. My wife and son have come to me. I've left some children at home, but uh, uh, um, so I think that's what would summarize. And that's why EFOMP is like a family. Uh, uh, and I think that model that starts small grows to the rest of, uh, grows to the, rest of the community throughout the medical physics family in Europe. Well, for me, if I would add to Paddy's uh, words, uh, it's not music, my hobby, 
but it's swimming. I, I like the sea, the, the lakes, the rivers, uh, to swim every, in every place you can, uh, in all around the world, all over the world. So when you go and attend the meetings, it's, it's an, a sport that you can combine it very easily. And uh, swimming gives you, you can be alone, with, you can be team. Um, it's like um, what we, we do really in life in our community. Uh, we can um, be trained to beat ourselves, our competencies, our uh, leadership skills, or we can be also with others and work uh, as teams. So for me, swimming, for Paddy, is the music. <laughs> All we do is reflect the work that you do. So we thank you. Gracias. Uh. Gracias.